Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the gem, a seasonal model for today's first video. So we're going to have a look at the 500 millibar height anomalies for December, January, February, winter of 2019-2020. Then we'll have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies that go with those heights. And we'll see what the gem is forecasting for the next three months. Um... For your viewing pleasure uh, this morning. And later on, we're going to have a regular week 10 day video update. And we've got a Christmas update coming up for you uh, tonight. So it's going to be a busy old day of updates at Gasworth is uh, today. Of course, this video is ahead of the third and final season one roundup that will be released on Saturday. So 10 a.m. Saturday morning, we will release the third and final season one roundup for the winter of 2019 2020. We get something like 12 or 13 long range ones together and see what. What they're all showing for the third and final time uh, on Saturday morning. And the JMA will form part of that, of course. Um, but you get a lot of information with the JMA, and we won't have time to go in depth into everything that it shows. So we always like to take this one out, isolate it out, have a look at it in its own terms, look at a lot of the information that you get from it as well. So that's what we're doing for today's uh, first video. Of course, on Sunday, we've got winter forecast coming up, so it is going to be uh, a very interesting and, dare I say it, rather exciting weekend, perhaps. Right, so let's begin with the GMA 500 millibar height anomaly for December 2019, looking at the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this, of course, is the Arctic up here, North Pole It'll be somewhere around there. And the middle latitudes of the Northern Hemisphere are around here. Yellow, orange and red extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure, and blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So in uh, the next month, in December, we have this area of above average heights here covering many central and southern and eastern parts of Europe with below average heights out to the west. And that leaves us bringing in a west or southwesterly wind. And of course, the below average heights up here would tend to favour low pressure and weather that's coming in off the Atlantic. So a rather unsettled and mild looking month as we go into December and begin winter 2019-2020. Uh, that's how January looks. So this looks really quite unsettled for January with below average heights centred over the top of the UK. We've got a little bit of ridging in the North Atlantic and going up to our north. So there's a little bit of blocking up here. We also have the Azores high sort of displaced a bit further away from us. So overall, this looks unsettled and probably quite mildish for uh, for January, but there could be a little bit of cold potential coming into that trough of low pressure. We could start to bleed in just a little bit of high pressure and colder air from the north into that uh, trough. So on its own terms, I suspect a uh, very unsettled month, probably quite a wet month, and temperatures about average. Um, but don't wrap the chance something a little bit cold, it, uh, particularly if that trough of low pressure was to be any further east. If that was going just a little bit further east, then we would start to pull in colder winds from the north. And then February looks like that. It looks very mild and, dare I say, it's spring-like in February with a large area of above-average heights centering to our south and below-average heights are up to the north. We have this long fetch sort of west-south-westerly like that. That's going to be a very mild and also potentially very spring-like month in February. So a mild winter really uh, just could be a little bit cooler potential perhaps um in january let's have a look at tropical and middle latitude view next so we're british Isles in the top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at we can't see the arctic and polar view that's off the chart up here as is scandinavia too but of course we have already seen that view so we know what's going on so for december we're coming back to december first of all for december we have above average heights um to our south and southwest and also extending into central parts of europe below average heights are up to the north, we're bringing up a west south westerly wind, and uh, it looks rather mild, I have to say, as we're going into uh, the first month of winter. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be a little bit above average with the JMA for December, and it looks rather unsettled to slightly above average with precipitation, so rather mild and wet month in December. The wind arrows are always a little bit difficult to make out, but you can see, hopefully, they are coming in from the west. So it's very sort of west-south-westerly type month, Atlantic-driven month. 
Um, and therefore, you expect a rather wet, but also rather mild uh, start to winter. Then we go through to January 2020. And in January, of course, we have this trough of low pressure centred over the top of the country. Can't see the Arctic view, but we've got this mid-Atlantic ridge. It does extend uh, up to here some degree. So the position of a trough isn't great to bring in cold air, but there could be a little bit of cold potential perhaps as we go through into January with perhaps a little bit more of a northwesterly tilt of jet stream and to wind. Temperature anomalies are still a little bit above average, but notice this blue area has got closer to us. It's actually a bit cold and average for islands. So this does tell us that there's just slight um, reduction in temperature uh, anomalies for January, but it isn't a very cold or severely cold month at all. Above average rainfall, not surprising, with a deep trough of low pressure centred over the top of the country. The wind arrows, the all-important wind direction. Uh, so you can see that, again, they're sort of coming northwesterly to perhaps even a little bit northerly. Uh, just there we have got northerlies. For us, I think they're sort of northwesterly, really. But I think there's definitely more cold potential for January out of all three of the winter months. So January on the JMA solution is the one that could be a little bit colder, especially if that trough was to go any further east. And then we go through into February, and this just looks like a total write-off for anyone who wants cold weather. Look at this big ridge from the Azores into southern Europe and then on into central parts of Europe to low pressure up to the northwest and we're dragging up that really warm southwest wind going off the screen with the southwesterlies in february temperature anomalies in february are above average it's a mild and average month notice very mild for many parts of europe with those yellow colors it's another unsettled month too with these west southwesterlies so above average precipitation in what is a very wet but also quite mild winter and the only important wind arrows look like that. So, yes, they're blowing from the west to the southwest. Look at that real long fetch. Sort of southwesterly, bring the air up all the way from Bermuda. Somewhere like that. So, really, really mild. If not quite warm, probably. In uh, February, with southwest winds really, really dominant. Uh, so, it's not great, is it, for anyone who wants a colder winter? Um, but there we go. We can only go by what models are showing. That is what the JMA is showing. Of course, on Saturday, you will see how many of these other long-range models are in agreement with the JMA about this winter. So, that's going to be quite an interesting view, I think, on Saturday. It'll be an interesting watch, I should say. We'll see exactly how many of these long-range models are in agreement with uh, the JMA's mild winter forecast. It's a little bit of cooler potential for January, but December and February look like total write-offs for any cold weather on this solution, just a little bit on the cooler side, but again, not particularly cold as we get through into uh, January. That's what it's showing, and on Saturday you'll find out how many more of the long-range models are in agreement with this solution. And of course, then on Sunday, we've got the big one coming up for you on Sunday, because yes, it'll be the gasweathers.com winter 2019-2020 forecast. It'll be time to forget all of the updates, all of the season water roundups. All of the winter updates, not forget them, but we won't be doing any more of them because we reach the end of the journey and the end of the journey will um, be uh, the forecast. And you'll get to see that on Sunday. You'll see exactly what Gazza this is forecasting uh, for winter of 2019-2020 on Sunday. Right, so that's it for your first video. We'll be back later on with your week to 10-day video update, including all of the regular features. And then Chris's update is on the way for you tonight, around 7 o'clock, something like that. We'll um, bring you update number 12 for Christmas 2019-2020. Well, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.